Hello friends. In this video, we will be discussing about the concept of while loop. How to use while loop in C programming language. So in the previous video, we have seen that there are very important three things that we should know about the looping concept. First is initialization. It specifies the starting of the loop. Second is condition, which specifies the destination. And third one is the exit statement. It will take you towards the destination. So it may be increment decrement operator or any other statement in exit conditions. So now we come to the loop while loop. So first of all, we try to understand the syntax. So ultimately the th three things which we have seen in the previous slide that is to be arranged in the syntax of while loop. So here you can see First of all, there is initialization means starting of the loop. Okay. <clears throat> then we need to write the while statement. It is mandatory while is the keyword to be used and into brackets round brackets. We need to specify the condition. Now we know that condition specifies what? So it specifies the destination. Kaha tak humko jana hai? Wo condition se pata chalega. Then here it can be body of loop. Body of loop means any statement. It can be one statement, five statement, ten statement. It can be any statement which should be repeated. Okay. The statements needs to be repeated. That is to be written over here. And the last come the exit statement. Last come the exit statement. It's, it will specify that how you can reach towards your destination towards destination okay so it is all about arranging three magical terms into the syntax so initialization condition and exit statement and while keyword is to be used and the body is there within the brackets so all the statement written within this braces will be repeated number of times depending upon the condition. Now we try to understand this particular syntax with an example. Suppose we need to print 1 to 5 on the screen. So we know that initialization is what we need to initialize i equals to 1 because what we need to do we need to print 1 to 5 on the screen. So starting is from 1 and ending it as 5. So initial is i equals to 1. Now condition is what it specifies the destination means aapko kaha rukna hai. So here we have the here we have written the condition okay the value of i we will be repeating the loop we will be repeating the loop until and unless the value of i is smaller or equals to 5 it means jab tak i ki value 5 se kam hai ya to 5 hai. Tab tak humko repeat karna hai. So that specifies the condition. So that we have written i less than equals to 5 as a condition. Now see you are and then which operation is to be repeated? So humko kya karna hai? We need to print. We need to print 1 to 5 on the screen. Means we need to print 1, print 2, print 3, print 4, print 5. So all these numbers are to be printed. So printf should be executed 5 times. So this statement is to be repeated. So the statement which we are supposed to repeat should be there within the brackets so that we have written printf statement. Now since you have started from 1 and you need to reach at 5, you have started from 1 and you need to reach at 5, what you need to do? You need to move towards means incrementing the value of 1. I is 1, then it should be 2, it should be 3, it should be 4, it should be 5. Like it should be incremented. So how to increment? So for that I++ plus plus is return and this is our exit statement. So this is your initialization, this is your condition and this is your exit statement. Okay. So I hope you understood. Now we take another example. So it will be more clear to you. So now here you can see, suppose we need to print 10 to 5 on the screen. So now just think upon it, 10 to 5. So 10, 
9 8 7 6 and 5 so again initialization means starting so start kahan se karna hai 10 se so we have written i equals to 10 kahan tak jana hai we need to move up to 5 5 tak jana hai so for that condition kya likha humne i greater than equals to 5 jab tak i ki value 5 aur 5 se zyada hai until and unless phi is the value of i is less than phi okay so we have written that now what we are suppose which operation we are supposed to repeat we are supposed to repeat the print operation so we have written printf okay and then we have started from 1 10 and we need to reach up to phi means value kya honi chahiye increment or decrement to decrement honi chahiye to 10 se leke phi honi chahiye isliye what we have done we have decremented the value of i so now once it is 10 then i will be decremented so now it will be 9 then it will be 8 and up to 5 okay so this is how we can able to reach up to 5 so this is the example in which we are printing from 10 to 5 now one question is there can we omit or can we skip any such part suppose maine ye nahi likha suppose i have not written i have not initialized okay so then what will happen then there will be the issue why because if i have not written i equals to 10 then what is the value of i what is the value of i it is not clear so any junk value can be there okay so this condition will not be performed as per our understanding it can perform randomly so we cannot skip initialization now can we skip i greater than equals to 5 suppose can we skip this particular part condition suppose maine condition nahi likha then what will happen condition nahi likha tha what will happen it will execute for n number of times it will not terminate wo kabhi terminate hi nahi hoga okay and if i skip this particular decrement then what will happen then the value of i will be always 10 it will be always 10 so it if it is always 10 then it will this condition is always true so again in this particular case it is infinite loop so now we try to execute this one by one so right now i equals to what 10 now you check out i equals to 10 okay now 10 greater than equals to 5 condition is true so you are moving inside so what is printed so suppose this is my screen then what is printed i is printed so i is 10 10 will be printed on the screen then i is decremented now i is decremented so now i will be what 9 now since bracket complete so here from this statement your control jumps here so now again condition will be checked 9 greater than equals to 5 condition true so we move inside i will be printed so what is the value of i i is right now 9 so 9 will be printed now i is decremented so now new value of i is what 8 then again we will move up 8 greater than equals to 5 condition true i will be printed so what will be the value of i i is 8 then i will be decremented so now i is 7 again we move further now 7 greater than equals to 5 condition true then i will be printed what is the value of i i 7 so 7 will be printed then i will be decremented so now i will be what 6 then again 6 greater than equals to 5 condition true so i will be printed so 6 will be printed on the screen then i will be decremented so now i will be what 5 then again we move up 5 greater than equals to 5 condition true i will be printed so 5 will be printed on the screen now i will be decremented so now i becomes 4 then again 4 greater than equals to 5 condition is what 4 greater than equals to 5 but this condition is false so it will directly jump to the next part other than the loop or it will jump to the next statement after the loop it means we can say that your loop is terminated over here so here you can see we have written printf only once but it has printed six different values why so because this printf statement is return within the while loop and we have arranged our while loop such that the loop will be executed six times 
सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस कंसेप्ट ओके थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो